Here's a quick video on how to change and why to change your furnaces or air conditioning's filter. Try to do that real quick. So the first step in changing your filter on your heating and cooling system is to either shut off the thermostat, the breaker, or the power switch to the unit so that it doesn't turn on while you're doing this and let unfiltrated air get into your system. So as you can see, my furnace, I'll change it here for a second, is an upright furnace such that the cold air comes in from the cold air return, which is in my hallway, back down here, through my air filter, down, past the heat exchanger and the burners, which then send the heat the air down through my crawl space and out to the ducts and the vents back into the house. And then the air goes, the hot air pushes the cold air up, back through the cold air return, the cycle returns. So, importantly, because air is passing past, the return air is coming through here, I need to change this air filter semi-regularly. And it's sometimes a pain to get out, but I will get it out. So just for mine, since it's upright, I just pull it out. And there we go. So there's my old filter. And as you can see, the brand new filter looks much better. And keeping note of the direction of flow, I understand that, you know, the cold air comes through the top and down through the furnace. Your furnace felt your furnace setup might be different where it comes in like this and then it goes up and then you might have vents that come through your ceiling. So just keep an eye on that. That will and now all I have to do is just put my new filter in and then make sure the direction of flow is right. Alright, so I have my new furnace filter in there. And push it in. And there you go, making sure the direction of flow is right, and it looks good. And then I also write down the date, so I remember how long I've, um, how long it's been since I've changed my furnace filter. And lastly, um, some people say that you don't need to change your furnace filter that often. Sometimes you can wait two or three months, or sometimes seasons. I am of the uh, thought that you know furnace filters are super cheap comparatively speaking toward buying a new uh, heating system so I change mine at least monthly especially because where I live it gets pretty cold uh, and then also when I use the air conditioner I use it pretty often so if you use your system on a good regular basis personally I would recommend changing your filter especially if it's these small filters your filter might be a huge box or it might be a some number by some number by two the larger the filter is the better filtration it has um, so these, you know, one inch filters get pretty dirty pretty fast. So, especially if you use your furnace and air conditioning more. So, I change mine pretty regularly. It's up to you how much you want to change yours, but I would definitely recommend keeping an eye on it at least monthly so you know if it's getting dirty, if there's junk on it. And sometimes that can prevent a lot of problems within your furnace, especially because this will keep a lot of the elements in the furnace clean by filtering out that air and not only giving you some clean air at the same time. So there's a video, a very quick video on how to change and why to change your furnace's air filter. Now I thought I'd just make one more comment is that if you have pets um, or allergies, it's also a good idea to kind of change those filters regularly given the fact that the air is staying within your home and being circulated. So it's good to be on top of that. And then lastly, if you are looking um, in your furnace and you're not seeing any uh, spot for the filter, sometimes some air filters are in the in the cold air returns. Um, I haven't seen it too much, but I have seen it before where there's none on the uh, right by the actual system, but they actually are at the uh, cold air return. So if you can't find it, Google it. If Google reveals nothing and you see that there's some kind of white pleated thing up in your ceiling, that's more than likely um, the filter you need to replace. So just keep an eye, just uh, know that that could be the case if you can't find your filter. And in case you can't tell what a cold, what re vents or returns and what's actually supplying the air, um, air returns will always have no kind of levers or um, dials on it to close or shut these things. So they'll always be just kind of vent looking things like this where there'll be nothing to shut or close um, this. The supply vents on the other hand will have fins 
that can open or close and usually they'll have a switch or some kind of lever that opens or closes them. So that's the difference between air returns and supplies. Supplies will open and close. Returns will have no way for you to close them. And lastly, links to the filters I use will be in the description, but just make sure that you're using the correct uh, uh, size filter for your um, unit. And yeah, if you like videos like this, uh, feel free to like, share, comment below if you have questions, and check out my other videos if you want to learn how to do other simple repairs or maintenance on your house or vehicle.